this video, I'm going to tell you about the things that you should know to use single journey tickets for subway in Seoul. As a matter of fact, the easiest way is to use T-Money card. I have made a video about how to use T-Money card to use the subway. There's a link down below so you can check it or check out the card up there. So where can you buy T-Money cards? You can buy them at any convenience store. Um, GS25, CU, EMR24, 7-Eleven or at any uh, individual convenience stores. Now I'm at the subway station and my friend will show you how to put money into a T-Money card. First, choose English. Reload trans card, yes. And put the card on the board. Select the amount of money that you want to put into. And put money into that little machine. Now you see the total amount is more than 10,001 right here. So it's very easy and convenient. So when you use T-Money card, the basic fare within the first 10 kilometers is 1,251. But when you use single journey tickets, it is 1,351, which is 101 more only 10 cents difference, it's not a big deal. And after the first 10 kilometers, between 10 and 50 kilometers, 101 is added for every five kilometers. So with a basic fare, how far can you go? The first 10 kilometers is roughly eight subway stops. When you use single journey tickets, there are two things that you can choose from. One is minimum fare, the other is select destination. Um, minimum fares cover only 10 kilometers, but you know, how do you know that you will travel less than 10 kilometers? If you travel over 10 kilometers, then you're going to have to pay the penalty. It could be a problem. In the worst case scenario, it could be 30 times of the original price fare or pay the discrepancy. And when you select destination, you have to know the exact name of the station you are heading to. Especially when you travel with your friends, your plan keeps constantly changing. So let's say that you're going to a certain place, but um, on the subway train, you and your friend are talking about changing your plan and you end up going further, then you have to pay more than you're supposed to. The problem arises, but your single journey tickets already have a fixed price when you chose destination. So let's try what, what it means. It is English. There are two, minimum fare and destination. So if you choose minimum, it's supposed to be 1,251, but it is 101 more expensive, right? So if you choose general one, so 1,351, but plus deposit, so you have to pay for the deposit, 1,851. You can get the deposit back later if you choose to go here when you check out and you get the 500 one back, you know? And let's go to the beginning. And the even device it, will return to the beginning screen. All right, and even if you choose um, destination selection, Please select your then you have to know exactly the name of the station. The if you want to go to Shincheon Station, which is my favorite, then you can. You have to go next, 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 and then there is Shincheon Station, right? Then there is the price. So, one thousand four hundred fifty-one for line number two. You don't usually go here. This is a you know, railway train, so you don't want to go. So if you select, you can pay, select but still, ticket, and then you have to pay for the deposit, you wish to purchase. right? So then this is the total amount. Money. So this could be the, the problem of choosing um, single journey tickets. So I strongly recommend that you buy T-Money cards and use the subway really easily and conveniently. Sometimes 
when you try to get single journey tickets, but it doesn't work the way you want. So try again when the money doesn't get accepted, like this. Whether you check into the subway station or check out, you always put your card on the right hand side. When you check out using your single journey ticket, this is the way you get the deposit back, which is 500 won. Precious. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please do thumbs up and subscribe. I'll come back to you with more interesting and fun videos. Thank you very much, guys. Peace.